just shortly after the 2020 general elections, the NDC refused to attend to IPAC. The party took the decision as the claim, the lack of conduct, odious duplicity and open bias that was displayed by the Jean Mensa led electoral commission in the favor of the new patriotic party in the conduct of the 2020 general elections. Over time, the electoral commission has conducted two by elections where the opposition party partaking in its despite its aversion to the current leadership. The celebrated ex-electoral commissioner, Dr. Kujua Farijan, speaking at the third annual NDC Lawyers Conference says the party must have a relook at its stance. I think that of singular importance is the inter-party advisory committee. The IPAC makes it possible for political parties to know and make input to the important thing the Electoral Commission is doing at any point in time. It makes it possible to discuss concerns of the parties and it makes it possible to contribute to the making of subsidiary legislation. I would appeal to the NDC to go back to the IPAC. If you have not already gone, Madam. <laughs> All right. So, of singular importance, is there. So don't worry about. It. They don't take my ideas. They don't do that. Please go there and make your ideas carry throughout. This position, the NDC finds intriguing. To the other minority parties, who, when we boycotted, they were telling us, "Oh, you need to come back. You need to come back." Today, the very reasons why we left, uh, they've been fed with the same medicine. My opinion is that uh, definitely we, we may have to consider going, but we must go in substance because we left for a reason. If you will go and it's just the same old reason, then there's no point. The Electoral Commission has announced the commencement of voter registration at its district offices nationwide, a position that all minority parties have condemned. A former Deputy Attorney General, Dr. Dominic Ayinem, says the position on the impending voter registration is unjust, urging the legal team of the NDC to fight it. Okay, in the way man, man can go, the um, farthest polling station from the district office of the Electoral Commission is 86 kilometers. Yes, 86 kilometers. So you can imagine somebody at that police station having to pay for transportation and to travel to the Electoral Commission's office in order to register to vote. Now, what we are seeing today is deja vu, right? Because the commission is insisting that they are going to conduct the registrations at their I mean, their offices uh, nationwide. And again, that is going to disenfranchise a lot of people. For three days, the NDC's legal team will be equipping itself on what it describes as strategies towards election 2024. Former President John Mahama will address the NDC lawyers on Saturday. Kamala Kluche, TV3 News, Akosumbu.